Does your free WordPress website not shown up on a Google or any other search engines when you search for it? If yes, then here's a simple solution for you guys in this video. Hey guys, it's me Rana and I'm back with another video and in this video guys I'm going to show you how you can bring your site on popular search engines like Google, Bing and Yahoo as well. So guys, in the previous videos, we created free WordPress website with free domain and free hosting. And uh, most of the people ask me that a website that we build with the free domain does not show up. And that's why I'm making this video for you guys. So guys, if you have any request or question, you can ask me in the comment section as well. And if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing because I drop a new video every single month on this channel about WordPress, motion graphics, VFX and uh, there is a animation uh, series coming up in this channel very soon and uh, stay tuned with this channel. And anyways guys enough talking let's get started and let me show you guys how you can uh, bring your site on popular search engines like Google. Let's get started. Alright guys so before I move into this video I just wanted to show you something. As you can see I'm here in a Google and I'm going to type androidauthority.ga so as you can see this free domain website now display on Google search engines on a first place because I type the full domain name here if I just simply type Android Authority uh, this website won't shown up here because androidauthority.com has a more backlinks and uh, has more better SEO than this one because this is a just a, a fresh uh, website and still I can see here on Google but if I make this website SEO friendly I have enough backlinks on this website then I, if I type simply Android Authority and uh, you will see my website on search engines as well so now I have to type androidauthority.ga in order to see this website. You probably thinking that anyone can search website with their full domain name. If I copy the domain from this website and uh, one thing I want to mention that I didn't did anything with this website like I did with the Android Authority. If I just paste the domain uh, right here let me delete from the beginning and if I search this website you can see this website won't shown up on Google because I didn't did exactly I did with AndroidAuthority.ga alright so here's the thing you need to do first you want to do the web submission and next we will submit the XML sitemap for web submission we will submit our website URL in various web search engines now there are many web search engines out there where you can submit your site URL or you can uh, submit your site URL by going to these web search engines uh, one by one or you can submit your site on various web search engines with only one click and that exactly I'm going to show you in this video for XML sitemap, we are going to use a plugin that going to help us to create the XML sitemap. You're probably thinking, what is XML sitemap? In simple language, I would say XML sitemap is a information file about your website. And another word, when we submit a XML sitemap as an information file of our website to Google, we just simply telling Google that hey Google you need to include or exclude these information from your search results and that's exactly XML sitemaps do now you can see my website is well indexed on Google you can see the meta description right here you can see the website title right there and you can see some index or category uh, below the website search results and that's exactly we need to do in order to get a visibility on search engines all right let's start with web submission there are a couple of websites over the internet that are gonna help us to submit our website in one click 
so first of all let's open the website let's type free web submission let's open up this website so guys here you can see on this website you can submit your website URL over 50 uh, web directory in just one click how cool it is right let's submit our website right this one let's copy this and uh, let's just paste the website domain here and uh, type your name or you can type your website name whatever you like uh, I'm gonna type the website name okay I'm going to enter my email read the terms and condition yes and then simply click on submit your site and uh, this pops up window comes up close this so guys as you can see you can see the success message and some of these does not have success message if you see like this click to submit that means you have to manually submit your site on these search engines and one important thing is that if you submit your site first time it may ask you the verification email verification verify your email and then you can uh, continue with this website anyways let's uh, continue let's submit this website to Google manually by clicking on this uh, link it will take us to this page let's log in click on submit request so you can see your request has been received and will be proceed shortly now close this and now click here to Bing and uh, open the Bing site submission all right here just paste the, the URL type the captcha submit okay your request was successfully submitted now close this so guys now we submit our website on these search engines now it's time for XML sitemap first we will create XML sitemap and then we will submit that XML sitemap on Google now let's go to the website dashboard this is a free uh, website that we built with the uh, free domain if you want to know how to build this you can check out the description and create your free website now here I'm going to install the plugin plugins add new let's type Yoast SEO so guys we need to install this plugin click on install now now click on activate alright guys as you can see in the left side we have the SEO section right here let's just click on SEO and general so guys if you installing this plugin first time uh, you should run the configuration wizard let's click on that select the first option my site is alive and ready to index click next and uh, this is a blog whatever your site is just mention here and then next this is a person person name type here type Rana and then click next and here you can uh, submit your social media account here if you like otherwise you can skip this or you can click on next then next again next so guys here we need to get the authentication code from the Google let's click on get Google authentication code click here allow so this is the authentication code copy this paste right here and click here to authenticate click on next here you can type your website name if you like so title separation you can choose uh, any of this but uh, I'm gonna choose this symbol right here and then click on next click next and then scroll down click next alright you have done it now close this now we done the configuration now let's go to the features so guys here in the features tab if you you can see XML sitemap here if you click on this question symbol and you can see the XML sitemap if you click on this link it will show you the index of your site if something you don't wanna include in your sitemap 
you can exclude that part of your website like post some categories tag section something like that you can do that by unchecking by going to maybe appearance search appearance yeah search appearance and then so guys and now here you can see these are the section of parts of your website that you wanted to include or exclude if you want to exclude you can click no or hide if you want to show then you can show or yes it will appear on search engines according to that now I'm going to submit the sitemap on Google search engines so I'm going to copy the uh, last word from the sitemap underscore index dot XML I'm going to highlight this and I'm going to copy this part right here and then here I'm going to go to the Google and I'm gonna type uh, Google webmaster webmaster Google webmaster tool and uh, let's open this website let's sign in so guys when you arrive on this page you see the button right here add property if you click there and here you have to enter your website first let's go here and let's uh, copy the website URL and paste right here and click on add now we need to upload the HTML verification file into our WordPress root directory or our hosting server with the WordPress installed and then we can verify this let's download the verification file and click OK now in order to upload this file we have to use FTP client like FileZilla if you don't have FileZilla you can perform a Google search for FileZilla FTP client and download the FileZilla install on your computer and then you are ready to use it and let me show you how FileZilla looks like so guys this is the FileZilla and here I need to know the information about the FTP account like host name and username password and port in order to log in into my hosting server okay let's go to the host site which is infinity free let's click on client area let me go to the control panel or I can go click here to manage I need the FTP detail these are the FTP details okay now let me copy the username and I'm gonna paste the username right here and this is the host name I think these information is wrong let's go to the C panel alright now click on FTP accounts so these are the information that I need to know so this is the host name here host name is different and here is different so I used to use this host name that's why I think that this is the wrong host name anyways let's paste the host name right here and let me type the password here port is 21 and click on quick connect okay let's open the HD docs so here I need to upload that file so what I'm gonna do I'm going to drag and drop this file into right here so you can see the upload process and uh, upload is done you can see successfully transferred one and uh, let's minimize this let's go back to this site and let's check the verification click verify verification fail okay let's try one more time verify now what's happened weren't able to verify your property why I think I have a different name maybe let's try one more time I'm going to upload this file again all right let's uh, verify one more time click verify all right as you can see verification is successfully done click on continue I think reason why my website wasn't verify uh, recently because uh, I upload a verification file with a different name as you can see start bracket one and close bracket but when I upload the file with its original name verification process complete successfully 
Now let's go to the sitemap and let's copy the last title sitemap underscore index and dot xml. Let's go back to the webmaster tool and click these buttons right here sitemap and uh, click here add or test sitemap paste your sitemap right here and then click submit and click on refresh so you can see processed pending it may take up to 24 to 48 hours but once this done your site will be alive on google so guys exact same thing you can do on uh, the bing as well there is a no different method on a bing as well the same process first you need to add the property on bing and then you need to submit the sitemap the only difference is the user interface you have to find uh, where is the add property button where is the add the sitemap button otherwise everything is the same so guys this is how you can submit your site or how you can visible your site on search engines like google bing and other search engines all right guys that's the end of this video i hope you learned something from this video if you really learned something from this video please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are new here and because i drop a new video every single week in this channel so that being said goodbye and see you next time